Hola mi gente, on this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform a stock screener on Weeble. We're going to be doing it on our mobile device, but the process is the same on your PC. Are you sick about hearing the same stocks over and over and over again? If you're on Reddit, Wall Street Bets, Twitter, and even on YouTube, people are pushing the same stocks time and time again. You know which companies I'm talking about. I'm talking about Tesla. I'm talking about Palantir, SoFi, AMC, GME, Neo, Lucid. The list can go on. But there are some stocks that are just always mentioned on social media. And if you're getting your ideas from social media, you're really missing out on some opportunities, some under the radar opportunities that nobody is talking about. You may be so hyper focused on the stocks that everybody's talking about that opportunities can be passing right by your face and you wouldn't even notice. A good stock screener that is set up for your strengths can help you identify opportunities that you might have not seen and it's also going to save you a bunch of time and when you fine tune these screeners and use them properly, it's also probably going to help you make a ton of money. So on this video, that is exactly what we are going to do. I am going to show you how to set up screeners on Weeble, and then I'm going to show you two screeners that I personally use to help identify potential swing trade candidates. It's easy, it's fast, it's simple, and it can be done on your phone or your PC. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. Real quick, there is a promotion going on right now with Weeble. If you deposit $100, I will be rewarded, and you also will be rewarded with free stocks. Only sign up for Weeble if you think they can provide value to you as a trader and or investor. Myself personally, with having experience of over 10 years in trading and investing in the stock market, I do believe that Weeble can provide you great value. I personally use it every single day when researching stocks because there is so much that this brokerage and this platform offers to me that it's well worth it. Now I'm gonna be showing you this process on an Android device. It's probably the same for an iPhone and the process is very similar on a PC or Mac as well. To get started, we need to head over to the screener to be able to create a screener. I'm gonna show you the inputs first, and then I'm gonna show you the screener that I personally use. So to get to screeners, all you are going to have to do is hit that magnifying glass that's up on the top right. And then below the symbol name where you would type in a stock, you can see crypto and screeners. You're going to tap on the screeners. Now we are going to go into create new screener and this is where you're going to see all of the inputs that you possibly have. Now the first input that we have is region. If you click on region, you will see other ones as well. These are US stocks that are traded on US exchanges like the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, etc. If you pick China or anything else, you're not going to get those types of stocks. This is not referring to where the company is headquartered. It is referring to which exchange it is sold on. You can get even more precise by clicking on the exchange button. And then you can see that we have the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, and the American Stock Exchange. I'm okay trading or investing in any of these exchanges, so I'm not going to select one. But let's say you only wanted to do stocks that were listed on the NASDAQ, you would select NASDAQ here. And then in the sector, you can get very specific. Let's say we were only looking for renewable energy stocks. Well, then you can just select that sector. I'm not going to click that as well. The quotes indicator is going to be very powerful when you use your screener because this is going to weed out a lot of the junk. For market cap, that is basically the market cap of the company. Now for all of these indicators or filters, you have a sliding scale down below and you can also type in the box. So let's say we wanted stocks that had at least a market cap of 1 billion and we didn't care how high the market cap was. We can click 1 billion and then we could slide the scale all the way to the right and hit save. Price is going to be referring to the stock price. Let's say you didn't want to deal with penny stocks and you wanted to trade only stocks that are $10 or above and you don't care how high they are, or maybe you do care and you don't want to buy a stock that's more than $100 a share, you can put that in this filter as well and hit save. 
The percent change is how much the stock has moved up or down in a given day. If you click on it, there you can see you have a sliding scale as well. The volume is how many shares were traded in a given day. You also have the turnover rate, which I really don't actually know what that is, um, but you can mess with it if you want. The listing date is a filter that's used to try to find new stocks that enter the market. If you click on listing date, you see that you have last week, last month, and last six months. So all of these would be relatively new stocks that went IPO not that long ago. The financial indicators are also probably going to be very important for your screener. I personally use them. You have the price to earnings multiple, that is forward looking. You have your earnings per share. You have a dividend, you have a dividend yield. So a dividend is going to be an actual dollar amount and the dividend yield is going to be a percentage. So if the stock trades at $100 and has a annual dividend of $1, well, the dividend is going to be $1 and the dividend yield is going to be 1%. You have a price to earnings multiple for the trailing 12 months. You have net margin. You have return on equity. You have return on assets and you have debt to assets. The technical indicators is actually kind of cool and how they have this set up already and make it super easy and convenient for traders and investors. You have a MACD Golden Cross, which is a bullish sign on the MACD. You have your KDJ oversold, your RSI 6 oversold, your RSI 24 oversold, your moving average 5 crossing over the 10. You have the hottest stocks. You have a top 5% change in one month. You have three white soldiers, which is just three bullish candles. And you have a bullish engulfing candle, which is just a bullish green candle where the body of that candle encompasses the prior candle, which was a bearish candle. So that's why it's called a bullish engulfing. And then you have some others like analyst ratings and margin available. You click on analyst ratings, you can pick stocks that are only strong buy, a buy, a hold, underperform, or sell. Depending if you're going bearish or bullish on a trade, maybe you want to mess around with that. Now I want to show you two screeners that I personally use for swing trading. I have two of them. They're called dippers and rippers. Dippers are stocks that are falling. So when you actually have a screener set up and it's saved, you can modify it by right clicking and hitting modify filters. I clicked on that so I can show you what my filters are. The region, United States. So the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, and the American Stock Exchange, all of the stocks that are listed in those exchanges are going to, are going to show up in this screener. The market cap. I don't want to be trading companies that have less than a billion dollars in market cap. I don't want penny stocks. I don't want companies that are at such low valuations and are so, so volatile. I also want stocks that have at least a $10 stock price and it can go as high as it wants to. I also want stocks to have a volume of at least a million shares. When trading, volume is extremely important because it provides liquidity. So it allows me to be able to get into a position at a price that I think is fair, and it allows me to capitalize on opportunities to, if there is a rip or a dip to be able to sell the stock at a fair price quickly because there's liquidity in that stock. Now in this market, Companies that are not profitable, they do not have earnings, and they don't have a positive price to earnings ratio, and they don't have a positive price to earnings multiple, they have been getting hit hard. So in my scanner, I'm trying to only find companies that are profitable. And I have two things that are helping that scanner, helping this scanner find profitable companies. I have a price to earnings forward looking that is at least zero and can get as high as it wants to. So some of these stocks might be severely overvalued and trade at a very high price to earnings multiple, but at least they have one. Also, I'm looking at an earnings per share. I just want to see that they actually have net income and actually have earnings per share. So my criteria here is at least 0.5 and it can go as high as it wants to. The higher the EPS, the better. The next thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for the RSI 24 oversold. The RSI that I typically use, and it's a shame that you can't modify these technical indicators or create your own, is the RSI 14. 
but the RSI 24 is also pretty good. It's just going to be a longer time period. So it's going to be a much smoother RSI and it's going to be a relative strength index over a 24 day period instead of a 14 day period. And that's it for this dipper scanner. Now, when you click and view your results, what I like to do is I like to sort by volume because volume is important. And here we can see the stocks that come up on the radar on this list. And all of my criteria is shown in these columns. So if I sort by volume, Netflix has the highest volume and Netflix has a PE of 19.66 and an EPS of 10.68. From here, you can click on the individual stocks and the charts will pop up. You can swipe left and go back to your scanner and you can quickly go through every single stock to see if some of them seem like a good opportunity to enter into a trade. We're not going to dive into that process and how I find if a stock is worth trading. I just want to show you my screeners. The next screener is rippers and regions the same market cap price volume, same criteria, PE, EPS, same criteria. Now there are two technical indicators that I use for the rippers screener and I switch between the two, the bullish engulfing. Let me show you if we view results and we click on CVS, and this has to be done on the daily chart, and we zoom in on the daily chart, you can see that this green candle engulfs the red candle. The body of it, which is the green bar, the top of the green bar is higher than the top of the red candle, and the bottom of the green bar is lower than the bottom of the red bar. This is a bullish engulfing candle, and sometimes it represents that the stock is going to shoot higher. The other one that we look at, if we remove that, is the MACD Golden Cross. Now, if we look at a stock like UPS, now if we take a look at the chart for UPS, the MACD is going to be a lower study, so it's provided right there. If we zoom in on the MACD, you can see that the golden line just crossed the green line. That is also represented by a green candle or a green histogram bar on the MACD. This is sometimes correspond this sometimes corresponds to a buy signal on the stock. Now, I don't like trading off of just technical indicators, but seeing one technical indicator might be enough for me to analyze the stock further, find support resistance lines, see if there's any trend, what the moving averages are, what price action is to see if this is a good stock to trade. But nevertheless, it provides an opportunity to put a stock on a screener, reducing the total amount of stocks that I see. So I'm only taking a look at 11 stocks a day instead of searching through the entire market, which is comprised of over 8,000 stocks. So this is a huge time saver and it prevent and it provides opportunities to you. You just have to do the additional research and due diligence and technical analysis to see if any of these stocks are worth trading. So that is how you set up screeners on Webull. Do not forget about that referral link that's down below in the video description to get your free stocks and also to help support the channel. In addition, you can join the Patreon, which will give you access to a private Discord server where you will get trade alerts. Whenever I enter or close a position, you will be notified on that Discord server. Now, as always, if you have any video suggestions, please comment down below on some topics that you would like me to cover in the future. Outside of that, I thank you so much for your time. Best of luck out there in the markets. Hopefully you are able to find some nice trades by using a screener on Webull, or maybe you're using another brokerage, but I definitely recommend that you start using screeners to try to find new opportunities out there and stop trading the same stocks that everybody's mentioning on social media, including on YouTube. I thank you so much for your time. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing and together we are. See ya.